Have you talked to Detective Murdoch? Both Murdoch and McWorthy think that arresting John makes sense. Apparently, there's evidence. Oh, evidence, my eye. Our son hasn't done anything wrong. I know that, Margaret. I don't want you to set foot in this hospital until you've cleared our son's name. Constable, as his doctor, I must ask that you wait outside. Thank you, Dr. Huggin. Let's see how you're healing. I still can't feel my legs. Can you move your toes for me? John, it's possible that there's still swelling near the spine, which will abate in time. But we have to consider the possibility... Am I interrupting? We'll talk soon, all right? Sorry, I couldn't come sooner. How are you? They think I killed Lucille Palmer. John, I... I'm sorry. Remember what you told me before, that saying sorry doesn't change anything, so why waste the energy in saying it? Sounds callous. It's true. Well, I mixed you up in this. It's my fault. N no, it's... Look, I, I knew Sutton was dangerous and I kept that from you. Now I think I'm a murderer. And I'm not. Toronto's new chief coroner. You must have friends in high places. I resent your implication, Mr. Richards. I've earned this position. I'm sure. Congratulations, Miss Hart. Thank you, Inspector. What did you want to talk to me about? John doesn't remember shooting Mr. Sutton. Also, John stated that he heard footsteps when he entered the room. Mr. Sutton wasn't wearing any shoes, and he was found seated holding the gun. Was someone else there? Perhaps. I've asked Miss Hart to test Mr. Sutton's hands for any gunpowder residue. Just as the detective suspected, I found no trace. Sir, the man who shot John is still at large, and I intend to find him.